here we go then. Green lights on, heat number two. Takes up. Away we go. Oh, what a start on the inside for such smartly. Beauty's coming. Bewley around the outside, it's going to get there. He's going to fire himself to the front. That grip on the outside is working. Oh, Smarslick's all over the place. He's off the bike. Drama in the opening race for the world champion. He's down. He's going to be thrown out for that. Yeah, track conditions caught him out. He had to turn the bike hard. He had Bewley just laying it down on him. And uh, I can only see one exclusion light coming on for this one. Yeah, very awkward moment there for the world champion. Just uh, almost going reverse there for a moment. Leon Madsen's on his feet, so that's good news for the Danish rider. He'll be back in the rerun. I fear it, it will. Uh, it will be that. Um, Got to be that. Uh, surely, um, uh, the world champion will be the one that's in grave danger of being. Yeah, the red lake school and light is now on, so Bartosz Smarzik will not be in the rerun, and it will have a rerun with just three competitors this time, but a very awkward moment there for oh. Bartosz Schmarzlik. Yeah, a worrying moment, very awkward crash. They're just the sort of crashes that uh, you can pull muscles in your back, particularly as the bike is just pulling you in all sorts of shapes. Now, that's for sure, takes up, we're away. They come roaring out of the gate, they're all there together. Look at that from Doyle, Doyle's on the outside, can he get it hooked up? No, not quite, Martin Bashley is in front, it's tight between the two Australian riders for second and third. Doyle now squaring it off, oh, it's going to get tight in the third oh, one, oh, not too comes. much, here comes Doyle up the inside, charges to the front, bashley has gone to the back, can you believe it? Now we've got Dan Bewley now getting amongst them as well, but Jack Holder promotes himself in the second place, but what a move from Doyle up the inside. Fantastic move. There was no room to make that move whatsoever, and uh, he had the audacity to ride through anyway. And a weaker man may have gone down, but Bashelik just kept it upright, and he would have felt uh, hard done by in that lap, going from first to third. Here comes Jack Holder. Jack Holder looking very good in second place, but it's looking like an Australian 1-2 here. Fabulous ride from Dawn, and Jack Holder also very fast in second place. Would suggest a bit quicker than Doyle there, but that hard move on the opening part of the race for Doyle to come up the inside. It's uh, Janowski and off the outside, the world champion. Smiles a great start on the inside. Doyle's at it again. He is going great, guys. Keep your eyes on Smiles, it though. Smiles is going to speak. Wow, here we go. He is back to his best now. Charging around the outside. Doyle responds, charges after him. Janowski's back in third place. Kowalski back in fourth. But Bartosz Smarzik, after a disappointing open a couple of rides, and a mistake in his first ride, all of a sudden back to winning ways. Oh, that bike's hooking up now. A little bit uncomfortable, but he's winding it on. Yeah, I think he's got something a little more aggressive under him now, maybe a little bit too reserved on the bike set up early on in this meeting, but that uh, bike now is tramping on. Jason Doyle working hard to stay with him. He uh, doesn't really need the points, but he's just going to want to make sure that he keeps on top of the setup, keep the bike going as quick as he can into the semi finals. Smarts look out on the last turn. Terrific win for him. That's why he's a world champion. And an awful start to the evening. Bounces back with back to back wins. Free of Poland. Here we go then. Away we go. Boys on the inside of Madrigal. What a run to the corner from Doyle. Oh, Here we start. go. Freddie Lingman getting in the action. Beauty in the second place, but Doyle fires himself around the outside. Oh, oh Lingman out of shape. beauty has got to get out of the throttle. Oh, my goodness, that was chaos in turns three and four in the opening lap. But Doyle's out in front, and somehow Freddie Lingman's in the second place. Oh, it got so tight on that opening lap down the back straight. Again, another small mistake from Freddie Lingman, and Max Frick won't. Uh, won't ask, he won't need a second invitation if he makes another one, but Jason Doyle, meanwhile, is checking out up front, really got plenty of speed, riding very, very well. Got a feeling Dan Beauty may have had a bike problem on the first lap, but I thought I heard a bit of a misfire. Well, bad luck for Dan Beauty. Got to say, that's bitterly disappointed for him, but he's got to believe that Jason Doyle on far here tonight. He wins the first semi-final, and Lingren's through as well. It was chaos on the opening lap. Going through turns three and four, I can't believe they all stayed on. Freddie Ling was on the back wheel, Bewley had to get out the... Three lights on now, here we go, yes it has. Jack 
Holder has made an absolute super start there. Lasso Slazic working, but it's Ty Wuffenden. It's tight down the back straight. Wuffenden momentarily into second place, running wide. Slazic cutting the corner off. Oh, it comes Oh, it's tight! Slazic up the inside. Can he get in there? No! Wuffenden has responded, but Slazic's through. Wuffenden just getting his momentum at a vital moment. Holder's away, looking set for the final. Slazic, wow, he's had to work for that. Through the second place. Oh, Bartos Smarzlik worked so hard for that. He was inside, outside, using every little bit of the track. Meanwhile, Jack Holder, what a superstar. Yeah. He chose gate two with confidence and he made it work absolutely perfectly. Looks like these two are going through at the moment. They are indeed. Down the back straight for the last time through the final corner. Jack Holder, absolutely fabulous moment for him. Smarzlik through to his first final in the narrative. said coming into the night it was his dream but congratulations hey, lights on way we go even break holders made a great start on the inside Lingwin chops right back gets his nose in front holder and Lingwin down the back straight here comes Doyle around the outside Jack Holder what a moment it is for him out in front Lingwin in the second place here comes Doyle Smarzik out the back, but Jack Holder, he's away. Oh, this is going to be a great moment for Jack Holder. He doesn't look like he's going to get past him there, right at the edge of the dirt. Everything working perfectly for him. A scrap at the back for Smarzik, desperate to get on the podium. Oh, he comes up the inside. He's not going to get an inch here. Oh, oh Doyle's Doyle down. down. Drummer in the final, Chris. Unbelievable. Yep, yep. Referee's got a big call oh, there. Oh, this is tough for Jack Holder. He was comfortably out front. Oh, Holder was so close to winning his first Grand Prix. Yeah, we're just taking a look at it again, but it doesn't matter how many times we see it. There's uh, definite contact, definitely taking Jason Doyle off Would, the bike. The referee could, could decide he was in front. Well, that's it. I was just going to play devil's yeah, advocate. Yeah, absolutely. So, he could decide well, could he, he was in front. Could he suggest that actually Smarzlik was past him? He could do. He could do, yeah. It's a really difficult call, actually. I have to say, traditionally, most referees would uh, certainly exclude Bartosz Smarzlik in this instance, but it uh, could go either way. And when you consider where we are and who Smarzlik yeah, is... That, that can't come into it, Kelvin. Well, might do a little bit. He's, he's <laughs> definitely caused him to go off. Blue's out! He's excluded Jason Doyle! Oh, that, that, that is a huge a and cool. a controversial decision here in the Narodomi! That's a bit cool. Wow! Jason Doyle's going to be absolutely fuming about that. Yeah, he will be. Absolutely fuming. He's had a fantastic night. And he'll feel aggrieved about that decision. Bartosz Smarzlik. Well, he's just got out of jail there, I believe. Green light comes on, away we go. Freddy's made a great start, Holder's just missed it. Lingren hits the front, smiles the ground the outside, generating pace, Holder just squeezes him up. Oh, that was tight. That was so tight indeed as they're going to turn three. Lingren's away, he's been top the timing charts. He's hit the front, Holder in the second place, smiles the third. Yeah, Freddy Lingren will be so happy with this. The only rider in the lineup using a belt drive as a as opposed to primary chain, and, uh, well, he's out front, he's looking good, he's got the speed, Smarzlik's not going to give up, he's going to be on the podium for the first time in the Narodomi, but he won't be happy with that, he'd rather be on top spot. So lap to go, Lingren out in front, made a great start from gate number three, Smarzlik coming on strong round the outside, Smarzlik, he he's coming on stronger, round the outside, one last blast, turn to the first corner, Lingren will off. Gracious me, it can't get any closer than that. What a conclusion to the night. Lingwood just about hanging on out in front. What a final. I'm really not quite sure who got second there. I think it might have been Holder. It was close, I think it, it was. It was very, it was very tight indeed. What a battle for second and third. For Jason there, no doubt about a controversial decision, tough decision for. The referee, never easy in those circumstances. But uh, nonetheless, he's got a whole hat full of points once again, and he's in the championship chase, that's for sure.